and let's look at uh, what happened with Sarah Wilkinson and her ter- her terms of release. I mean, this is outrageous. Again, Sarah Wilkinson is a leading Palestine solidarity activist in the UK. Her account is an essential one to follow for news from Israel Palestine. And this is her daughter tweeting because Sarah Wilkinson, after being arrested by 12 or 16 counter terror cops at her house, is unable to tweet because the conditions of her bail, according to her daughter, is to never use a phone or a laptop. Yeah. I mean, what did she do? That was so dangerous that necessitated this. I really, I followed her account. I never saw her, you know, recruiting fighters to go to Gaza the same way yeah. that the MI6 did in Syria. <laughs> I mean, they were running basically right. the the Beatles kidnapping gang, as they were known, that actually in, included like um, yeah, that's what's quote so unquote right. jihadi John. I mean, yeah. So yeah. what did she do? Well, she's she was doing charity work uh, in yeah. Gaza. I know that uh, helping build wells and things like that. Uh, so apparently, that's you know, she she was giving too much water to the goyim. So you know, she had to go. <laughs> no, but seriously, yeah. I'm I'm heartbroken after I learned what happened to her. That that was just I mean, monstrously ex- excessive, monstrously excessive. And and you know, they they her mother's ashes, the urn, on the floor like damaged. I mean, I cannot. That that's alone. Crazy. This is unforgivable. This this is not just like thuggish police brutality. This is, it's beyond criminal behavior. It's like a bunch of pirates. You, you know, I don't know. What, I don't even know what to say. I'm really speechless. How can you do that to someone's, uh, you know, as, uh, the ashes of someone's mother? Uh, uh, I mean, th- this is really just uh, so excessive and unnecessary. And you know, she doesn't have a violent bone in her body. They, they, and it's it's not like they're just accusing her of being a criminal. It's this this stigma of oh, you're terrorist. Prove it. I mean, do you have, do you have any evidence? You know, it's like they're, they're also doing putting these impossible conditions on her. Like, um, you know, you, well, you have to bring your passport in next week, surrender your passport. Uh, except they took her passport and they didn't list that they took her passport. You know, I don't know if that's on purpose or that's recklessness, but you've put her in a very very bad position now because she looks dishonest when in fact you took her passport and good luck yeah. proving it. in England yeah. and in most countries, the judge is always going to side with the, with the police. Um, yeah. yeah. So this is really just one out of so many things. Um, it's horrific what they did and, and the violation of, of, you know, the sanctity of a home. Uh, never mind the, the, the fact that she's just talking about, you know, the tweets, for example, that they're, they're, they're alleging are terrorism. She didn't even necessarily write them. She just, she literally cited as a, you know, a, a journalist does. She quoted things. Didn't even add opinion necessarily. Mm.